okay uh, we discussed the components of the soil so another part is uh, factors for the soil formations so here uh, we look on how the soil can be formed and also we look on the things which help the soil to be formed so let us start with the things or factors which can help the soil to be what to be formed uh, the first thing uh, factors is pallet lock material so when we talk about the pallet lock material uh, means that uh, those material which are essential for the soil to be formed and those uh, those logs which hold the whole soil so the soil to be formed it depends to the parent log when you talk about the parent logs it means that the mother uh, the mother logs so mother logs it means that uh, uh, the most dependable factors in order for the soil to be formed an example uh, the soil types it being determined by the parent log the soil color it being determined by the parent Law. and also the soil depth soil depth means that the uh, the degree of deepness of the or shallowness of the soil so this all is being determined by what determined by the parent uh, law so this one that's why here uh, i say that it is the chief what the chief factor so that one the first factors which help the soil to be what for me so the soil to be for to be in the certain types depend to the parent law the soil to be in the certain color depend to the parent log also the depth of the soil depend to the parent water log so this is the first factor for the soil water uh, formation another factor is climate so climate here we consider those elements of the climate an example uh, there is uh, temperature and the landfall so the temperature and the landfall how it influences the soil to be formed an example at the part of temperature uh, flashback to the first parts i told you that there is uh, material which are being decomposed so those material which are being decomposed depend on the temperature so the temperature is among the things which help to the soil to be formed also there is rainfall rainfall uh, you have to uh, remember or memorize for the last part I told you that there is a processes you call as a leaching process. So leaching process it needs the transformations of the material in solution form. So where the dissolution comes from is from the OD, from the land. So here we note that if there is a high temperature, also there is a high decomposition. So means that the soil can be OD formed easy. And also if there is a landfall. But here in the landfall, we have to note it is in two ways. There is a negative and a positive. The high landfall, it can influence or it can facilitate the reaching processes. And also rainfall, it can cause the erosion. But also when erosion takes place, it can result to the OT, it can result to the erosion, then uh, transportation, then deposition. So when the deposition takes place under influence of the rain water or running water, it can result to the soil water, soil to be uh, formed. Another factor is a living organism. Living organism on half. Here we look on the microorganism and also animals. Uh, those microorganisms, uh, we talk about those organisms which helps the decomposition. Any material in order to be decomposed depends on the microorganism. So here we look at that. how the soil can be formed through that microorganism. Is that a microorganism help the decomposition process and the material uh, if is being decomposed also it can desire to the soil to have the layer which is the topmost layer uh, we shall look on the soil properties about the soil profile the topmost layer which is formed by the OT, horizontal AO that horizontal AO is formed by the difference material which are decomposed as a lizard of the microorganism and also animals animals through bureauing the large number of the animals can lizards to this the great the water, the logs as a, as a final it can cause the uh, transportation as a final deposition but also it can help the soil to be formed the another another factors is relief so here relief it is indirect way only how is indirect is that the leaf first of all you have to understand that it is the uh, general appearance of the air 
So when we talk about the general appearance of the ant, it means that there is area where there is highlands and there is area where there is lowlands. So the area where there is highland, especially for the area where there is a steep slope, the steep slope area, the soil is shallow. How soil be shallow due to the that is steepness? As we know that at the area where there is steep slope, the erosion is seriously and the erosion takes place what, for higher amounts. So if the erosion takes place for higher amounts, the soil will be, the soil will be what, shallow. Also, in the lowlands, why the soil is deeper? Because the lowland area and the area where there is what, depositions. So if there is a deposition, means that the soil will be what, the soil will, uh, will be deeper and it will be potential for agriculture or the agriculture can take place for high product. So that relief is among of the factors can help the soil to be what, uh, to be formed. In. The last point is time. How times as a factors? Here we look about the time for maturity of the soil. So on how the time and maturity. That maturity means that the soil in order to be matured and the soil which is matured is the soil uh, which, is, uh, which is already reached to the points for production. So the, mature, the soil which is highly or take place for a long time to be formed as a matured soil and uh, there will be what the productions and also the soil which uh, take few times or uh, does not take a long time to be formed uh, that means that it is a matured soil so that matured soil means that it can support the plant to be what to grow so this all is what is the factors for the soil what for the soil formations let's jump to another before to look the soil properties here there is general uh, general factors for the soil formations. Here we look about the things called as a pycrot. Pycrot, pycrot means what? This means palent log, this P, and the C means climate, and L, uh, this R means relief, and O means organism, and the T means what? Time. So this is the, in short. We can say pycrot means what? Those factors for the soil formation. So you also can say that it can form the, what, the soil. So pycrot equals to, what, to soil because this one is the factors for the soil formation. Uh, another part is soil properties. Uh, soil properties. Uh, soil properties are into two parts. There is the physical parts and the chemical. So physical properties and the chemical properties. But the soil properties means that the things which make the soil or oh, what are the features of the soil. So the features of soil classified as a physical and chemical. Let's start with the physical properties. Uh, first, physical properties of the soil is what uh, we call as a soil profile. So soil profile is what? Soil profile, here we look about the, uh, we, saw, we say that the general arrangement of the soil from the top layer to the bottom or from the top layer up to the palate log. So that is soil profiles. I can show you here uh, like this. Uh, this one is the topmost layer. Uh, and this we call as a AO. And here there is A. And here there is B. It differentiates. And here there is C. And here Let's put like that, the is D. So here, uh, the horizon A, like this one, this one is the top layer. And uh, sometimes this you call it the true soil. True soil. So the arrangement of the soil from the top layer up to this, uh, this layer D is parent law. Parent law. So arrangement of the soil from that layer up to the last uh, horizon, this color horizon A O, horizon A, horizon B, horizon C, horizon D. So the arrangement of the soil from here up to these points, this generally we call as a what? As a soil properties. So this is among of the properties of what? Of the soil. Soil profile is among of the pro uh, physical properties of what? Of the soil. All called as the features of the soil. The second. Uh, Properties of the soil it is soil depth. Soil depth is what? This is called the degree of hotness 
degree of shallowness and the deepness of the soil. So that you call as a soil water depth. Degree of shallowness and deepness of the soil. There is soil which is deep and there is a soil which is what is shallow. Also there is a soily color. Soil color means what? We means that the soil it differ the color. Uh, other soils having the dark color and other soil having what uh, the uh, we call it the gray color and other having the uh, lead color. So there is a different types of forty of the color of the soil. So this is among of the properties of forty of the soil. Another is the soily texture. Texture means what? This we call it the degree of uh, finest and largest of the soil uh, soil particles. So the, here we can say the size of the soil. So here is the among the properties of the soil is the there is larger size and there is small size of the soil, but uh, other are moderate. So it depends. So here a part of that soil texture. We get, uh, we get the clay soil, we get silt soil, and we get what the loam soil. Also, there is the soil porosity. So here, soil porosity means what? Soil porosity. Uh, this means the what? Uh, we call as uh, the space, volume space between what one particles of the soil and another particles. As I told you that, in texture we call the size of the soil, but the porosity. Here we talk about the volume space between one particle as we looked here for that texture, one particle and another. That volume space in general we call what soil porosity. So each type of the soil having that uh, features. Another is the soil structure. Soil structure in short, we say that the general appearance of the what general appearance of the soil there is soil which having the poor structure and there is soil which having the good what uh, structure the last uh, physical properties of the soil is what soil temperature so soil temperature is what is the degree of hotness and coldness of the soil so the soil uh, it depends. There is a soil which is uh, cold and there is a soil which is what uh, hot. But this one depends to the amount of the sun uh, lays and amount of the things or we call it the components of the soil which are responsible for regulating the temperature within what within uh, the soil. So here we end the what the properties, physical properties uh, of the soil. Let us jump to another part. We call it the chemical properties of the soil. Here in chemical properties, there is many properties of the soil uh, in terms of chemical, but here we look only two uh, properties. First is soil pH or soil reactions, the second is leaching. But soil pH is what? This, uh, as I told you for the first part there, uh, this we call it the uh, degree of acidity and alkalite within what the soil. So degree of acidity and alkalite is among of the chemical properties. Only how, as I told you that, here the soil uh, must have the moderate acids and must have what the moderate alkalite or base and acid must, must be neutral. But here soil pH it range the is one up to fourteen soil pH according to uh, soil pH scale. Uh, that one up to four. Here we say that the the acid is high, but six up to seven or eight to seven. This is is moderate. So each soil in order to support the plant growth must have the what moderate soil pH or soil reaction must be what uh, moderated. The second chemical properties is leaching. Leaching here, I told you that, is a process of transferring the nutrients uh, from the topmost layer towards another layers of the soil. Example, I turn back to that diagram here, I told you that this one is the soil, uh, the soil water profile. So there we talk about the leaching. Leaching it means that they transfer the nutrients from that layer, the topmost layer. Uh, inside the another OT, another parts, or inside another horizon. So from maybe horizon air, horizon O, 
to enter within horizon UOT, B, C, and D. So the process of transfer, transferring that nutrients, but it must be in solution forms from one point to another point with the soil that we call as OT uh, reaching as among of the chemical properties. So let's shift it to another part out of the properties. Let's uh, jump to another part we call it as a soil classification. So the soil classifications, it depends. Soil can be classified by different ways. But here we consider soil classification according uh, or by means of texture or soil types according to, what it, to texture. As the soil texture, we look there as among of the properties of the soil. So a part of the soil texture, we get first is the sand, second clay, silt, uh, silt. So when we talk about sand, Sand means that uh, this is the types of the soil uh, which are having low water and also it is easy to cultivate. So I can say that the sand soil it is suitable for cultivations for different crops, especially here we can cultivate like a groundnut for that types of the soil. Also there is clay. That clay is the types of the soil according to texture, but here that soil mostly among of the it is features, it is drain very slowly. Uh, also, it is easy water lodging. So it means that for that types of the soil, the water lodge, water lodge, it means that the water, water being accumulated at the certain point. So it is difficult to cultivate the crops, but the lazy crops which need a lot of water, we can cultivate, but not in such a way. Then the, uh, the last is silt. Here, uh, silt. Here is not silt water, it is silt soil. Not silt water, it is silt soil. So silt soil, uh, it is features is composed of the fine uh, particles. So fine particles means that the soil, uh, this silt soil, it composed the smallest or very fine particles. So here, those three types of the soil, uh, it is classified according to what according to texture the last part is what the last part is soil erosion uh, the last part for that major or major parts uh, within that topic is soil erosion soil erosion here what is the soil erosion soil erosion this we talk about the remover of the topmost layer of the soil uh, through different adjectives. So when you talk about the agent of the, of the soil erosions or, or things which facilitate to the erosion process, only moving the topmost layer is water, uh, there is winds, and there is what is ice. So when you talk about water, how influence the soil erosion? Water, here we talk about the learning water, or water which, uh, who, which move from one point to another. It causes the soil water erosions. On which way? Example, the river erodes and the deposit material somewhere, so that the soil erosion also wins. And blow away the material, or blow away the topmost layer of the soil. And also ice. Ice here, we can say that's glacial. Glacial, instead of ice, uh, glacial, or we call it uh, moving ice. Uh, when you talk about the glacial, use the glacial, but when you talk about ice, use uh, moving ice. So the ice, uh, it can dissolve to the different species. So that water wins ice. When a lotion takes place through that way, it can form different features. Example, uh, learning water here, uh, example, the river, it can form the features like uh, flood plains, and also branching pool as among of the features formed through uh, water. Then wind. Winds also form the features. When you blow, uh, uh, blow material from one point to another, it can result to different features, especially that form the features in the desert. Ice, the same applies, form the different features. An example, uh, the moving ice, it can erode and form the different features, especially it found to the different countries uh, which are mostly depends to the ice, which are uh, vulnerable for that ice uh, formations. Uh, what are the factors? Factors affecting the soil erosion. So what are the things? Can you facilitate the soil erosion to take place? Or what are the things can you cause the erosion to does not take place or to, be, to, to take place not 
uh, at the given area. Uh, we start with the things called as a climate. Climate, as I told you that, uh, we look the elements which form the what, climate. Example here, we look about the temperature, we look about what, rainfall. On how rainfall, let's discuss about the rainfall. Rainfall on how can affect soil erosion. Uh, if there is high rainfall, it can result for it can result what soil erosion and high amount of soil erosion. And if there is low rainfall or there is no rainfall, also erosion will be what low. So that is among of the example. Also in terms of temperature, temperature here the high amount of temperature and the high uh, weathering activities. As when weathering activity take place, it facilitates or it isn't the soil water to be uh, loaded. So this is a part of what uh, climate. The second point is what the leaf. Only how the leaf is among the factors, or how the leaf affects soil erosions. Uh, the leaf here, I told you that the general appearance of the soil. So that the general appearance of the soil only how can it affect the soil erosion. Here we talk about the highlands and the lowlands or steep slope and the gentle slope so when the area or if the area having the steep slope uh, means that that area erosion will be easy only how because the area where there is a steep slope means that the material move easy compared to the area where there is low uh, lows uh, there is a uh, lowlands or there is gently slope so that one can affect the soil erosion. So the gentle slope has low erosion or movement of the material, but the steep slope, the high speed of the uh, materials from the highland to lowland. Another is nature of the soil. Nature of the soil here, we consider uh, almost three or two parts. The nature of the soil is, if the soil had, uh, had joints or it being formed by clades, so that soil erosion take place what? Easy. But also, if the soil is hard or is mostly compacted or is very cemented, the soil erosion is taking place hardly compared to the area where there is a soft soil compared to the area where there is uh, which are, does not have the joints. So the area which is jointed erosion takes place easy compared to the area or soil which is what uh, not jointed. The area where there is hard soil the soil erosion takes place hardly the same uh, compared to the area where there is what soft soil uh, erosion takes place easy so that's about what the nature of the soil also the last point is vegetation cover so how vegetation cover can affect the soil erosion in that way vegetation to an area uh, it acts as a cover uh, as a cover of the soil towards different activities, which is maybe physical activities or uh, man cause activities. Uh, man cause activities, yes. So the area where there is coverage of the vegetation, erosion take place uh, hardly or does not take place. Why? Because the vegetation, it is roots act authority stabilizer of the soil uh, to be to, uh, towards the different activities that can affect uh, the soil. But area where there is bare, uh, there is bare rains, or called the area where there is no vegetation, that area uh, the erosion takes place easy. On which way? Because uh, the material are being transferred, or material are being transferred easy from one point to another. Uh, so for today, uh, let's end here, and I think it is the end of our topic. Uh, we looked at the most important things which are vulnerable or which are appearing to the defense exams. An example of the questions that can be asked uh, in terms of that topic, uh, there is a uh, first question here, what are the effects of the soil erosion? So we have already started about the, what is soil erosion? What are the factors? What are the agents? So what are the effects of that soil erosion? Also the question is what are the measures of the soil erosion? So erosion takes place already. So what should we do in order to ensure that the erosion uh, the can't take place to another, uh, another time? Uh, another, another question is what are the components of the soil profiles? As we discussed about the 
soil profile, the arrangement of the soil. So what are the things which make the soil soil uh, profiles? I think uh, for today, let's end here and we shall uh, meet to another topic which are very beneficial, which are important to our examination. Thank you.